What up? Welcome to my first how-to video. Today I'm going to show y'all how to do some radial symmetry patterns or just spiral patterns. So let's jump right into it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just throwing bows off the hump just because I can whip them out real quick. But once you have your uh, piece thrown and you're ready to start decorating it, um, there's two ways to go about it. One is more calculated and one is pretty arbitrary. So I'll show you the more calculated one first. So imagine the time it takes for your wheel to spin around once. We're just going to call that one unit of time depending on whatever speed you set it at. So say so I said at this speed right here, it would be now, now. So the time between then is one rotation. So now we're going to chop it up in half. So you have boom, 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 and then I'm going to chop it in half again. So it'd be doof, 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 doof. And that sounds kind of weird and strange but it works for this purpose <clears throat> so with that being said I'll show you where I'm going with this so I'm just taking a glob of slip and slapping it inside and so the first pattern I'll show you has nothing to do with that but it's just a simple spiral so you basically just get like a nice even layer going in and out and then you'll just drag your finger out from the inside however fast or slow you want depending on how big of a spiral you want. You could go really fast or you could go real slow and get a tight one. But we're gonna take it one step further. So to get a square pattern is what you would use that chopping into quarters method. So if you could hear the hum of your wheel and kind of get a feel for how long it takes it to go around, it might take some practice, but just hear me out. So I'm gonna go. And a lot of times when I'll do this, I'll like hum to myself or like tap on something or make some weird noises, and it just helps me like keep it all in line. So that's how you would get a square spiral. Alright, so if that last method sounds like a little like too much math or you don't feel like counting or it just doesn't vibe with you, then we have another method which is just the flow method I guess if you want to call it. Whatever name you want to put on it. Basically, whatever whatever pattern you want your spiral to be that's just what you're going to start with and then you're just going to radiate out from the center doing that same thing so i like to do a lot of five-sided symmetry so i'm going to get the wheel going nice and slow and then from the center i'm just going to kind of just draw a pentagon and try to get them all the sides even in one rotation and then just carry that out from there so let's see here let me even this out a little more. Alright. So. So there's your pentagonal five-sided star spiral. Let's clean up the edge a little bit. 
and chop it off. So as a little side note, you don't even need a rib or a tool or anything to make um, radial patterns and they don't even have to be symmetrical. So sometimes um, I'll do ovals where you just like do a little wonk and carry that out or you can do like triangles. It really just depends like how fast like the the ratio of you vibrating to the speed that the wheel is spinning. That's going to determine your whole pattern. Um, but so now I'll do like a little nautilus. Like a little seashell pattern. Um, this one you need a rib for but it doesn't have to be any certain shape or material. <clears throat> up a little bit so for this one what you're gonna do is you're kind of just going to tap and carry that all the way out to the rim And sometimes if you have a shallower bowl or your slip is thicker, um, it won't scrape the slip off and it'll just be like one more fluid, more shell looking. But just for the purpose of the video, that's how you would get that. Alright, so one last one that I'll show y'all is one that I like to do a lot. Um, it, I don't even know what to call it, like a flower petal variation maybe? So... Basically... I usually use a serrated rib for this one just because I like how it flows outwards. And uh, so you'll start from the center and you kind of go forward and then back. So you kind of like undulate, if that's the right word. So. And there you have it. Hopefully this video helped y'all. Tell me some comments if there's some stuff that I could do better or make that you want to see or just, I don't know. Give me some kind of feedback. Peace.